or impose his own goal on you na utafuata Sijui tunaelewana hapo tuelewana baada ya kuondoka So I just wanted to congratulate you for being able kupambana na hayo maisha yote mpaka mkafika hapa kuna mwingine alisema sinza mbali wakati wanarusha hapo kijito nyama sinza wapi kule kunaitwa hapo anaitwa sinza nini eh ah ile kituo ya pale inaitwaje kijiweni yani sinza sinza mimi naenda fanya ngapi sinza kijiweni eh mpaka kijiweni kijiweni mbaya hii nitaenda tu ama hata anaweza kufanya hapa karibu na science hapa milena mtawa ndio iko karibu na nyumbani na ndio huyu akalala na amelala amefanya hivyo but i believe what ambao mmekuja hapa you have discovered what you want to do and i believe kwamba itakuwa imewasaidia wangapi wamejiona wako tofauti kabisa tangu walipoingia mpaka sasa hivi you feel there's something new in you you see so jipigie makofi for that it's most important thing which means tumeongeza value so but secondly napenda kumpongeza sana kijana wangu Rodrick Rodrick ni katika vijana ambao uh, walivyokuja kuomba mentorship sijapata naye shida kabisa nimepata usumbufu tu kwamba mentor na hii seminar hii ninayo ni hii naomba tuifanye ikishafanyika unafikiri amemaliza kesho kuna nyingine sasa ya mwezi wa sita hii sasa ndio nataka niite wanaume tu haya unajua imemaliza kesho sasa kuna ya mwezi wa tisa hii ya wakina mama na sasa eh sasa nyingine tena hujakaa kidogo ameshazindua kitabu kimoja kingine so i want to congratulate you and you are growing up you are growing up i'm so proud of you he 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 has already have his own team so for me that is a very big step and let, can i sit unajua yeye mmeniambukiza kukaa nilikuwa hapa niliwatamani kweli because jana nimelala saa saa 8 kama sio saa 9 baada ya kufanya kazi kuanzia asubuhi and the day before i also spoke uh, so i've sijapumzika kabisa na leo nilitoka mlima ni city nilikuwa na seminar nyingine nimetoka pale kufanya seminar so i just want us to have a talk so you will excuse me nikikasi ndio hello tuko sawa because i want us to talk sisi kama vijana wa Tanzania Let, let's talk because whenever navoangalia vijana wa Tanzania kuna wakati huwa machozi yanantoka honestly ninapoangalia dunia ilipo alafu navoangalia sisi sasa tunachokifanya hapa Tanzania unashikwa na hasira unalia lakini ukilia haikusaidii sana unasema Mungu na mimi naomba nisaidie nifanye kwa sehemu yangu ili vijana tupone so it has been my passion i say wale wale kule nyuma ni team ya rodrick yao ni nani wanasumbua sana eh na haya ni mazoea watoto ni mazoea unajua yeye mmehudhuria sana hizi seminar mnazoea na ukishaanza kuzoea vitu vya namna hii utaachwa ndio hiyo jamaa alikuwa anasema unakuta motivational speaker anajua vitu vingi lakini maisha anampiga ndio hayo so don't hello leo nimekuwa mkali kidogo mimi sio mkali lakini leo nimekuwa mkali it's a compassion that i have for the youth so nimekuwa nikizunguka zunguka baadhi ya nchi huko nje naona vijana wenzetu wanachokifanya and then i'm coming back to tanzania to see sisi tunafanya nini sasa ukienda nchi ya jirani yetu hapo rwanda watoto wanapewa tablets watoto wa primary school wanapewa tablets ili waweze kujifunza na kujiandaa na maisha ambayo yamebadilika hivi sasa and then i'm asking watoto wetu sasa wanafanya nini and then napanda levo kidogo sisi tunafanya nini najiuliza are we aware that the world is changing this much and if we don't change what is going to happen to us tunapoona kuna mabilionaires wazungu au wa marekani what about us we have been ending up to be consumers every day we are smartphone ikitoka mpya yani unakuta kijana hana kazi hana biashara inayoeleweka mjini ila kanunua latest na ana post kwenye mtandao wa Instagram cha karefu kunyuma 
au kidole cha mwisho eh na kupaka rangi basi unajiona wewe msela kwamba na rangi lakini kumbe ile kuacha kucha ndefu ilikuwa ni kwa ajili ya, wa, ya wauza unga kupimia sasa tujui tunaona tuna, tuna ndo usela au kunyoa panki hivi sio wewe i'm talking about us back then <laughs> so well i'm not saying that you should not buy this latest trends of the phones and stuff like that but i want you to to see on how you can invest on your life so that you can have a better future because things are changing and me i'm happy for you ambao mmekuja hapa kwa sababu nyie mko tofauti sana na vijana wengine at least you want to invest on your knowledge and you can set the trends now sikupanga kuongea hayo lakini nimeiwiwa ni aseme hayo kwa sababu whenever i see the youth and the way we love to complain over the social media it it eats me as a tanzanian and i see what can we do about it sasa after saying that uh nimefurahi kwamba tumeanza kujadili hivi vitu unajua binadamu sio kwamba hajui kitu cha kufanya Asilimia 99 ya vitu mlivoelewa hivyo hapa mnavijua tayari. You know exactly what to do. But why are you not doing it? I believe ni kura ili, ilipigishwa sio? Watu wamesema wametoa input zao. So you already know it. Why are you coming to the seminar then? Now, knowing and not doing it it is equal to not knowing it. kujua bila kufanya ni sawa sana kutokujua kununua kitabu alafu usikisome ni sawa sawa na mtu ambaye hajui kusoma yani wewe na mtu ambaye hajaenda shule hamna tofauti why because you have not read it kwa mimi i will never know about the seven doors even if i have the book at my home and then i don't read it it will be the same kama kwa mtu ambaye hata hajawahi kumsikia Rudrick Nabe wala hajawahi kununua hichi kitabu si you tunaelewana hapo Tanzania so let us go to the level ya ku dig to, to engage ourselves into action let's put into actions kuna watu nimewaona tangu tumeanza hizi seminar wako na sisi mguu na njia mguu na njia kuna siku nataka niwaulize ehe mmefikia wapi kwenye kuimplement vile tulivyokuwa tunawafundisha we are, we are looking forward to see your businesses we are looking forward to see your career is growing up we are looking forward to see you are progressing somewhere kuna wengi mmeomba nauli za kuja kwenye seminar hizi mpaka wazazi wenu wamechoka because they don't see the results they are looking for Now I know sometimes the results may not come immediately but at least we should see the changes little by little. Hello? So, unaweza kuwa unajua sana. Lakini kama hufanyii kazi yale unayojua, the point here is utajikuta hata kile ulichonacho unanyang'anywa. Kuna msemo unasema if you don't use it, you lose it. Usipokitumia unakipoteza So you need to start where you are with what you have Start where you are with what you have Una hii big dream ya kuanzisha big company printing company I want you to start with the stationery Usianze kuwa na ndoto kwa sababu theme ya hii seminar inasema how to get what you want sio na tulishakuwa na seminar kama hii na nikawapa point kama saba hivi i don't want to go back there i want us to continue from there if you have missed it i think you can have a dvd or you can log to our uh, youtube channel you can get the uo mwendelezo leopita so leo nataka tusitize kwenye action action you must take action watanzania wengi ni wavivu kwenye ku take action tuna maneno mengi siasa imejaa sana and you know what kuongea ni rahisi because hamna mtu anakuwekea bill ya kuongea hakuna kifurushi cha kuongea hii hapa tantantalila hizi unaweza piga 
unaweza jenga nyumba kwa kuongea, unaweza fungua mradi kwa kuongea, unaweza ongoza nchi kwa kuongea. Na wanasema hata ukienda kwenye mpira, wanaojua sana mpira si wachezaji, ni watazamaji. Eh pale sasa, kasa si angepiga tu kushutu, angalia akapiga kulia. Pale mwanangu unazuia kwanza afu unairudisha nyuma ile, alafu unatoa pasi. Kiingia wewe sasa ucheze. <laughs> so it is easy to talk. And that's why to answer your question again actually to kwa sababu wamejibu vizuri sana by the way it is easy to talk and talking is a skill it's a skill so i can learn how to talk very beautifully i read books i put in schedule but if i don't put into practice i lose na inawezekana kocha wa manchester anaitwa nani yule bwana is it morinho or nani Mourinho sio. Inawezekana Mourinho hajui mpira kama wachezaji wake, but he's a coach and he's coaching them. Now I'm skiliza. But me I want you to be action takers. Take action. The world is changing very fast. If you don't take action now, utakuwa obsolete the next morning. Unachacha kirahisi tu. Uta expire. Let me give you quickly examples. Back in the days, there was a there was a kuna kuna sio sio siku zilizopita. Kuna kitu kinachoitwa business trends. Unajua business trends? Kitu gani kiko kwenye market kwa wakati ule? Kwa mfano saa hizi mvua inanyesha, utaona machinga anauza mwanvuli because you know he's going to make money out of it. Now what if you don't take action during the rain season? I can take action during the sunny season. What is happening to him? He lose no business. The world is changing very fast. We had a moment hapa tulikuwa na biashara zinaitwa news cafe nini internet cafe. You remember the internet cafe thing whereby people were going to browse the internet in a room. Na ikiwa vibox vile. Na computer kipindi hiki zina speed au internet yenyewe haina speed kama sasa hivi. Na skills tulikuwa pia hatuna, unadonua donua tupali. Yani password yenye unatumia rogo saa kuingiza. Ujui A kwa api, unaangalia huku ndo Z. Ukija kuingia, umelogi, ni hata kalu ya send email mudako meisha. Inabidi uongeze. And it was very expensive by that particular time. At that particular time, people who were making money, they were on the trends alo ufungua internet cafe. Mnakumbuka vibanda vya simu vilivu kuja. And then people... <laughs> Zilipoingia zi mobile phone kuna vitu vilikuwa inaitwa vibanda vya simu mpaka nyimbo zilisadifu maudhui yaliyoko hicho kibanda cha simu nani alimba ule so kidogo sio lakini sasa hizi ukiimba au wimbo it's not relevant zilipendwa tayari so those people who were opening the business at that particular time they were winning why they took action Sasa hizi ukifungua kibanda cha simu you're, you're losing money. So, wa Tanzania tuache soga, tunapenda soga, tunapenda story, tunapenda moshene, maneno maneno matupu, tuache tufanye kazi. Be involved wherever you are. Start wherever you are with what you have. Si unanielewa? Mwasa mimi ndoto zangu ni kuwa mkulima mkubwa barani Afrika. Supply East Africa, East and Central Africa. Yana kuwaga maneno matamu sana kule ongea. Yes, East and Central Africa. Basi anza na tusala mchicha. Ata tusala mchicha huna, unataka kuwa mkulima wa kima taifa kweli. Mungu wana kuangalia, anasema uyu ajui kanuni zangu. Kanuni za mungu anasema, if you want more in life, don't ask for it. Just manage well the little you have and then more will come. That's a principle. Ali and natural find me. I don't get sewa. Hasa wewe huna. Hata kile kidogo kinanyang'anywa na utaendelea kulalamika, utafunga na kuomba, utakesha, utawekewa mafuta yale sio juu ya upako, utamimi sio kupako, utapaka utamiminiwa. Utakunywa maji sio juu ya baraka, sio juu ya laana. Kila kitu utakunywa kunywa pale soda za nini. Lakini things don't happen. Na unaanza kumlaumu Mungu. Ah Uyu nabi feki. Nabi siyo feki. We ndo feki. Why? Because you, you are not operating under the principle. This world is run by the principles. Hello? 
And that's why we have to come in the area like this and learn these principles. Because if we don't follow these principles, tutaendelea kulalamika sana. Tutalamika maisha magumu. Ngoja nikwambie, tangu dunia hii imeumbwa hakunaga maisha raisi. Hakuna. Nitoa kuambia pale Milman City. Watu sasa hizi wanasema bora enzi ya Kikwete ilikuwa rais maisha alikuwa raha mteremko si unaona wosema lakini enzi ya Kikwete pia kuna watu walikuwa wanalamika maisha magumu hakunaga dunia nzima all over the world there is no period in time in life that life will be easy so start now with what you have and move forward don't complain. Kama atatokea mtu kukopesha, fine, thank God. Kama atatokea mtu atakupa hela kuanzisha biashara, it's fine. Kama atatokea wateja watanunua bidhaa zao kabla hata sokoni, it's fine. But what if they don't show up? Hello? So if it is hard, do it hard. That's what I'm trying to say. Let's work. Wa Tanzania tufanye kazi. Hao tukifanya kazi tuwatumia nguvu zaidi badala ya kutumia akili. Nguvu zilikuwa zinatumika enzi ya utumwa. Sio sasa hivi. Sasa hivi zinatumika akili. Ndio maana disimu yenyewe ambayo tulikuwa tunaona inka mpupu inaitwa smart. Ushasikia smartphone? Smart maana kitu kina akili. Yaani kinatumia akili. It's smart. So hata simu yenyewe Sio tu kwa ajili ya kupiga simu na no no I'm smarter than that I can make calculations for you I can take pictures and videos for you I can record a sound for you hello, hello. <laughs> So if the mobile phone is smart how about you Hasa na nyinyi mna bahati mmeingia mjini mjini atutumii nguvu mjini tunatumia akili Sasa hata akili kama imelala na nguvu zenyewe ndio hizo huna maisha yako atakuwa magumu Maana wengi mmekimbia vijijini sio Mmepewa mashamba hamtaki kulima Sasa mmekuja mjini tunaelezana mambo ya kimjini bado tena maisha ni magumu Utapigwa 90 to 95% of the people who are here you are educated how are you using your education? How are you using your mind? Wana psychology wanatuambia kwamba tunatumia less than 10%. The smartest guy in the room is using less than 10%. Yaani ukiweza kutumia 10% of your total mind, you are a genius. Can you believe that 90% of your mind is dormant? Sasa Albert Einstein tunaambiwa sio alitumia sio asilimia ngapi sio huyo the genius mwenyewe Sasa wewe ambaye hata 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 hatiko hujawahi kuandika hivi sasa unatumia ngapi asilimia ngapi ya akili kweli Hebu jiulize Hiyo degree yenyewe uliyopata unajua jinsi ulivyopata pata. Umeunganisha unganisha hapo umedesa pale umedesa huku umecopy umepaste umeba na mimi nimegraduate bwana tumegraduate mwaka huu. Ha mnaisha ule Nini sheria sheria eh, uchumi uchumi. Ukiulizwa swali la like kiuchumi una hamna kitu. Hapo unajiita msomi. Sasa tuyaache hayo maana tukianza kwenda kwenye vieti hapa tunaweza tukatoana jasho. My point here is take action. Start where you are with what you have and do something about it. Start where you are. Some of you you are coming to us saying you want to wote ambao wamekuja kwangu wanafahamu. The formula is the same. If you want to become a motivational speaker, I always tell them Start where you are with what you have. And this theory has helped. mimi imewasaidia watu wote mnaoona. Anza na pale ulipo. 
anza <laughs> kuinspire hata watu ambao wamekuzunguka basi kama unaweza kuanza na wanafunzi wa primary anza nao and then unasogea wanafunzi wa secondary and then unasogea wanafunzi wa chuo and then unaenda kusogea kwa kufanya kazi sasa wenye hela zao ya maana sasa kama hela huna unani inspire nini sasa maana nikikuangalia wewe mimi ni, mimi nina hela kuliko wewe sasa hapo nikasheshe unanifundisha nini si tunaelewana hapo kwa hiyo bora ukaenda kuongea na wanafunzi wa primary ambao umewazidi elimu watakusikiliza kama dada yetu sasa ukafika form 6 huyo jua eh hey. kafika chuo wanakusikiliza maana kwa levo yao aspiration ni kufaulu kwenda secondary sio wao wamefika chuo kwa to them that's the biggest benchmark sasa wewe unataka kwenda mtaani uka inspire the nation where are you starting start somewhere utaandaa seminar utakuja watu wawili tu afu za ah hii haifai jamani hakuna kitu kinaanza kikubwa tu pu na ukiona kimeanza kikubwa pu ujue hata kuongoka kwake unakuwa ni pu kidogo 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 unasogeza huyu amenielewa Mungu akubariki mimi nakwambia hata hela hela zikija ghafla kwako na umasikia wako unakuja ghafla Why? Because there's a skill to contain the money. There's a skill. Mimi nakwambia ukiwa na hela hapa shilingi milioni moja kwenye mfuko wako. Kama una skill ya kuicontain utanunua kila kitu kinachotoka hapa sinza mpaka unapofika kwenu. Utanunua tu unaingia hapa sasa unaanza kuona vitu vya kununua ndo vipo. Hivi kumbe hapa kuna seli mimi sikuona jamani. Unachukua seli. Unaenda kununua hotpot kumbe hotpot nyumbani unalo. Yaani unajaza tu makorokoro, vitu una, unajikuta unanunua unarudia. Vitenge unanunua viwili viwili kumbe na chenye unacho. Hela ikishaisha sasa ndio. Uh, ah sasa angalau akili imetulia. Sasa tuangalie vitu vya maana. Maana hela ilikuwa inawasha. Why? Kwa sababu ile ile imekuja gafla Weka waangalie wanaoshinda hizi bahati nasibu. Eh. Hey. Watafute. Aki unajua kuna mtu anaitwa Darren Hardy ambaye alipata theo e wisdom kutoka kwa mtu anaitwa Jim Ron. Anasema pesa siku zote ina seek the level of your personal development. Yaani pesa ukiwa nayo Ukipata leo hapa milioni 30 pap. Inashuka, inashuka, inalingana mpaka ikutana na levo yako ndio inakaa pale. Kwa kama ile levo yako ilikuwa ni milioni moja, hiyo milioni 30 inapotea pa mpaka ibaki milioni moja, hapo ndio inakaa iko stable sasa. Kwa hiyo inabidi sasa ili ukisha milioni 30 pap ni bora ukaongeza speed kuwe na milionea mindset ili hela ikae pale. Umeelewa? That's why you need to read, you need to educate your mind, you need to be smart how to use money, how to invest money because you keep losing money even if you get yani kuna namna fulani sasa hivi kuna vitu vingi nataka kuongea na nyinyi lakini Mungu anisaidia niongee kwa lugha nyepesi. You will attract the level of your personal development always siku zote una attract the level kwa hiyo utajikuta unakaela kako umekaweka lakini kwa sababu hauko kwenye hiyo level ya kuwa na hiyo hela unasikia mamako anaumwa shangazi siju kafiwa siju kuna nini hela inapotea inaenda inaenda jamani ina. ilikuwa na milioni tatu zangu jamani nikataka kuanzia mradi sasa ndio zimeenda unajua kule ndugu yetu alifariki yule basi kabidi nigalamie mazishi yote wewe ndio unabeba mazishi sasa so, unaona hela ipo kwa ile hela inaondoka tu shangama mara umekabwa mara siju bodaboda wameku wamefa. yani basi hela inaondoka mpaka ifikie levo yako sasa ukishaishiwa unashangaa ukabwi hamna mtu anakufa hakuna msiba. <laughs> Umenielewa sasa eh? Ndio maana ni muhimu sana 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 kukua kwenye personal development. Ningekuwa mchungaji nasema ukue kiroho. Sasa hiyo ni lugha nyingine. 
ila unatakiwa kukua kwenye personal development maarifa pesa ina maarifa yake jinsi ya kuipata jinsi ya kuiongeza na jinsi ya kuizalisha na fedha inanusa harufu pesa inakuwa attracted to the value that you produce in the market takupa mfano mdogo kuna bwana mmoja alienda kwenye unajua mmoja ya kazi ninazozifanya ni UMC public speaking kwenye upande wa MC usiereshaji is the area that is my passion so kwa sababu haya nayo wafundisha unajua hivi ninavyowafundisha sio na wasoma ili nije niwafundishe mimi niko tofauti mimi nikisoma kitu sio kwa ajili yako nasoma kitu kwa ajili yangu na ndio maana hilo swali hilo swali hata mimi nimeliuliza na hata timu yangu wanajua hawa nimesha ali yuko hapa nilishamwambia alitaka kwa motivational speaker tukakaa tukayaongea haya haya kwa hivi tunavyowaambia sio stories za kufikirika ni lifestyle yangu mimi sasa yule bwana mimi jina langu likatajwa kwenye kikao cha watu ambao wanaandaa sherehe na yeye jina lake likatajwa kwa sasa yeye mimi price yangu ikawa labda tuseme shilingi 500 yeye akaona ili kunibipti mimi ataje price ya chini kwa akataja shilingi 100 kwa kutoka 500 mpaka 100 akifikiri kwamba kwa shilingi 100 watu they will go for it lakini kumbuka hela inatafuta nini level yako ulionayo personal development level yako because that is what you will attract in life wakashangaa maamuzi ya kamati yamefanyika wakataka huyu wa shilingi 500 alafu yeye wa shilingi 100 aachwe hakuelewa hiyo theory alilalamika akasema luvanda kwa kweli namchukia kuliko kawaida sasa vipi ah mimi nimetaja 100 jamaa kataja 500 alafu watu wamemchukua 500 inakuwaje the issue is the value value Waremo umeelewa value wewe kama kijana wa kitanzania what kind of the value are you communicating to the market sio kwamba hakuna kazi kazi zipo niwaambieni zipo hata leo nimeletewa nafasi za kazi sita watu wanahitajika lakini nimeletewa mimi message kaka naomba unitafutie hao watu wa hizi nafasi sita namtafuta nani sasa nimpe kile ningeangalia vijana wao sasa huyu huyu sawa ila hapa hapa kwenye hela hapa atajulikani muda wa kuja kazini huyu ataniangusha huyu ah huyu sasa bwana do huyu bwana matusi matusi anadharau sana wakubwa yani unaangalia unakosa value Moja ni kwambie unapotengeneza value kwenye market watu na resources zitakufuata wewe hutakuwa wa kwanza kuwafuata watu watu watafanya nini lakini sasa mpaka uje ufikie kwenye thamani ya ku attract watu kuna mchakato hapo katikati na vijana wengi watupendi nini mchakato hiyo michakato ndo atupendi nimemwambia mdogo wangu niwaambia huu tunaopita hapa ni mchakato nikamwambia ndege inapotaka ku take off inatumia energy kubwa sana na ina consume mafuta mengi sana kwenye kupaa wale umesoma physics mafahamu ila ikishafika kule juu ina ina graduate tu inaenda ndivyo zilivyo na kanuni za maisha sasa wengi atupende kujipisha kwenye mchakato ununue kitabu ukisome usielewe mara ya kwanza ukirudie mara ya pili usome uende kufungua biashara upate hasara urudie tena ufanye hiki utukano una presentation yako watu hawakuelewi hivyo huo unaitwa mchakato ila kila mchakato unakunoa unakuwa bora zaidi 
So don't, 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 don't give up saying this is tough, this is hard. Yes, there is no easy thing in life. Who told you? I've just nimetoka kuambia hapa hakuna maisha raisi. Everything is hard in life. Everything is hard. Kuamka asubuhi ni kazi. Kupiga mswaki ni kazi sio kama unafahamu hiyo. Kunywa chai ni zikawa ya moto ni kazi. Kwenda kazini mnafahamu nyinyi jinsi ilivyo kazi. Foleni ni kazi. Simu imedondoka dada nataka kulia ni kazi tena. Maana sasa inawezekana ndio imeenda hiyo. Ni kazi, kila kitu ni kazi. Kulala pia ni kazi. Kuna watu mpaka watumie dawa za usingizi na nalala. Na kuna wengine hata mnaulala bila kutumia dawa za usingizi ndoto mnazoziota wenyewe mnajua. Ni kazi kweli kweli unakuta mtu ameamka jasho inamtoka vipi ndoto iliyoota mtumishi. Ana facing the next day could be tough. Kila kitu ni kazi. Kuolewa ni kazi, kuzaa mtoto ni kazi, kutokuwa na kazi ni kazi, kutokuwa na mtoto ni kazi, kuachika ni kazi, kurudia kwenye ndoa ni kazi. Kazi kila kitu. Kazi ni kazi. Sasa wewe kwa nini unataka kufanya kazi? Ndio hiyo changamoto. Hello? Hello. It is hard. Yes. But if it is hard, do it hard. There is no easy thing. Na ndio hapo wazungu wanapotupiga bao. Sisi ngozi nyeusi. Tunapenda sana kusaidiwa. Misaada vya bure. Rodrick akifanya sehemu na akaweka kiingilio hamji. Ila hii ya bure bure ndio tumejaa ukumbi. Haya sasa akisema 2020 kitabu atununua ila ikija ya shilingi 10000 kila mtu. Anye sio nyinyi nazungumza ile sehemu nilopita. Hao ndio ilikuwa changamoto. <laughs> But you know what? Hiyo ya kupenda vitu vya bure, uspende sana vitu vya bure. Fanyia kazi. Fanyia nini? Kwa sababu uchumi dunia nzima uchumi unaendeshwa kwa kutengeneza value kwenye market. Na ndio maana sasa wa Tanzania wengi wanapata shida kwa sababu tulikuwa tunategemea kupata hela bila ku value kwenye market. Kwa inapofika mahali sana tunataka tu produce value kwenye market ndio tupate hela tunasema maisha magumu. Lakini ndivyo walivyo wazungu wenzetu. Wangapi wamesoma uchumi hapa? wachache hata aliyesoma mwenye anaogopa hajui kama amesoma wajasoma maana inawezekana alidesa sasa kwa hiyo hai ngoje niwaambieni ili uchumi uweze kuwa sustainable there must be a value produced in the marketplace so for example mwenye ukumbi huu ametoa rodi kamelipia ukumbi ila mwenye ukumbi ametoa ukumbi akatwekea na kiyoyozi kwa hii tunaita ni thamani ya mwenye ukumbi ambao ameitoa kwa hela aliyoipokea wewe umepokea hicho kitabu lakini umetoa hela yako si ndio kuna thamani huyu jamaa alikaa akaandika akapanga mawazo akaweka kwenye njia maandishi and then akisupply wewe unatoa hela unanunua ndivyo ile inavyokuja kwa unaweza ukaenda kanisani ukaombewa napenda kuwasema Kristo kwa sababu mimi ni Mkristo nafahamu sala kasi zetu sisi unasubiri uwekewe mikono sio vibaya kwa sababu nimeshawekea watu mikono na mchungaji yuko pale nyuma eh, na kiwekea sana mikono watu lakini unaweza kuwekewa mikono kamwagiwa na mafuta na maji na nini na soda na juisi kila kitu akakumwagia pale But if you don't go and produce the value the whole work doesn't work. Hello. So from today onwards learn how to produce the value. And how do you produce the value by st start taking action with what you know with what you have. Kuna mimi nitaanza biashara nikipata mkopo. Nikipata tu mkopo wangu mimi wa milioni mia. Ah utanitaka. Tutakutakaje? Tukutaki wakati ujapata mkopo bado? 
What do you have on your hands? Yeah. Una nini mkononi mwako? Siku zote leo Mwenyezi Mungu anauliza hilo swali watu wake. Nenda kwa wazungu. Nchi ya Uingereza ni nchi ndogo sana. Lakini inatawala dunia. Nenda kwa wale wanaitwa Scandinavian countries. Kuna nchi inatengeneza mabasi magari ya Scania wakati haina raw materials za kutengeneza Scania. Nenda Japan. Hawana mahali pa pa kutumia hizo raw materials. Lakini they are producing karibu nusu ya magari yote duniani. Sisi tuna kila kitu. Bado tuna complain. Tunalima pamba, tunamuuzia mzungu, anatengeneza shati, alafu anakuja kutuuzia sisi. Pamba tunamuuzia kwa 500, shati anakuja kutuuzia kwa 3000. Sio kichao. Na sisi tume unajua tu tunawacheka babu zetu lakini sisi tuko hivyo hivyo. Hivyo hivyo. Yaani naona hapa kuna sisi ningekuwa mchungaji ningesema kuna vi, kuna viroho fulani eh. Kuna viroho fulani vya babu vinakunyemelea vina Hello. So from today onwards be smart. And not just be smart, be smarter. Work very hard but also work very smart. If it is writing a book, write a book. If it is to start a business, start a business. Swallow your ego. Mwambie jirani yako swallow your ego. And I will tell you why. Wasomi tuna tatizo moja. Tuna ile hali ya kufikiria kwamba ukishapata degree basi wewe kuna vitu fulani huruhusiwi kufanya vya chini unatakiwa kufanya vitu vya juu juu tu. Na ndio hiyo utakuta kuna msomi anashindwa maisha alafu kuna mtu ambaye hajasoma kaisha dasa saba anayaweza maisha. Hicho ego ni kuulize leo pamoja na degree yako unaweza kuuza karanga? Wewe unaweza. Mungu akubariki. Na una degree? Ah, okay. Sawa. Sasa upate na joho lile. <laughs> Watu wangapi wanaweza kuuza karanga leo? Menelewa? But look at diamond karanga. Si karanga zile zile tu kutoka Dodoma. Muuliza diamond ana degree ngapi sasa? Nasema zile sio zake, kuna investor yuko nyuma. Lakini kwa nini watumie jina lake sasa diamond? Si watumie la kwako. Kwa nini wewe la kwako watumie? Ali makota karanga. Nini? Value. Value you produce. Kwa nao ukiona kula zile karanga unajua kama unajua kama diamond yenu unaweza ukatuma uka, voko kama diamond. <laughs> Kumbe sauti kama mwanangu wote hapa. Hamna kitu. <laughs> Umeshaikujiuliza kwa nini vitu kama raba wakitaka kutengeneza tangazo la raba ya ku, ku, kuiuza raba, sports raba, hizo navaa sneakers. Wanamtafuta mwana michezo. Ndio acheze leo tangazo. Hawamchukui mtu hivi hivi. Wakitaka perfume nzuri kuitangaza wanamchukua mrembo mzuri au gentleman handsome boy anajipulizia anaingia mahali wasichana wote wanamwangalia wanavutiwa kwa nini wasikuchukue wewe sasa <laughs> Na wewe unaenda kununua ile perfume unapulizia ukiamini kwamba <laughs> utaambatana na value unachangaa mna mtu anageuka <laughs> Kwa hiyo tengeneza value create value hasa kwenye ku create value kuna mchakato kuna nini mchakato mwanzoni ama mtu atakuelewa hamna mtu atakuelewa unachokifanya ni nini but if you believe in yourself you believe in your vision you keep on walking every day day in day out you keep on walking your dream one day watakurecognize na utakuwa mtu maarufu sana duniani thank you <laughs> ndugu wangu ananiambia value sasa value ukitaka ku add usiniwekee chini ungetafuta ka <laughs> hey, donate to value hii ni service but service should be with the value added sasa lakini hiyo sio ya kwako ya uh -uh. inatakiwa atokee mtu mwingine ajue hapa hapa kwamba kwa sababu yeye ameshagundua problem sio kwamba inawezekana yule jamaa anaongea hapa akinahitaji maji 
Kwa akafikiria kwa akili yake iko hapa. Sasa mjasiria mali inatakiwa ujue jinsi ya ku value. Ndio kama hizo karanga. Yaani karanga si zinauzwa tu kila mahali. Na karanga ni karanga, lakini ukazichukua karanga, ukazipa jina zuri, ukaziweka package nzuri, ukaiuza, yule mwingine atauza kwa shilingi mia, wewe utauza kwa shilingi mia tano Sasa sana mtu anayeuza matikiti na mtu anayeuza juisi ya matikiti. Two people different. Mwingine anauza maembe, mwingine anauza juisi ya maembe. Wana tofautiana. Hello. Kwa hiyo huo mchakato wa kwanza hapo wa kutenza value. Lakini niwaambie ni value ikiimarika my friend you will no longer look for money. Money will be looking for you. Believe me, it is happening. I have seen it. So I know what I'm talking about. If you don't believe me, that is not for you. It's for someone who can believe it. But we have so many examples. We have so many examples. Tamalizia na umfano. Then tutauliza maswali labda afu tutakuwa tumemaliza. Wangapi wanafahamu story ya Chinese bamboo tree? Okay. Wangapi ambao haifahamu story ya Chinese bamboo tree? Just raise up your hand. Good. So we'll tell a story because most of people don't know about it. Kuna mti anaitwa bambu. Unapatikana China. Kule Iringa pia upo. Kuna wahehe hapa na wabena. Hebu tu ehe. Nashukuru. Uongeze vya. Sasa ulanzi, ulanzi umanyile. Ehe. Sasa ule mwanzi ule ndo unaitwa bamboo tree. Sasa sijajua kama ya huku inafanana na ya kule. Maana sisi tunachakachwa sana vitu hapa katikati. And maybe species zinatofautiana. Ule mti mwanzi wa Kichina unapopandwa unatakiwa kuhudumia kumwagilia, kutilia mbolea, kuweka mazingira mazuri kwa muda wa miaka mitano kabla haujachomoza kwenye ardhi. Ila wanasema ikishachomoza tu kwenye ardhi ndani ya wiki sita kama si, wiki sita nafikia wiki moja I'm not sure the numbers unakwenda kukua kwa mita tisini Sasa niwaulize swali Ile bamboo tree au mwanzi umekua hizo mita tisini kwa wiki sita au kwa miaka mitano Eh Miaka mitano na wiki sita ndivyo zilivyo na ndoto ambazo nataka nizitimize Na hapo kuna watu watakuja kukucheka sana unaendelea kupalilia mna kitu kinatokea wanaangalia ndugu umesema unafanya nini nimepanda mwanzi hapa ndugu yangu hata matonya asiona naona kabisa kwamba hakuna kitu hapo kinatokea Mwaka wa kwanza, mwaka wa pili unafanya seminar tu. Rodrick, mwaka wa pili, mwaka mwaka ehe uh-huh, value sasa. Ila sasa kuna kitu inaitwa timing. <laughs> Anakuja na biashara kibanda cha simu wakati msimu ushaisha. <laughs> Menelewa eh? Itakiwa pale pale niliposema kwa sababu ndio ilikuwa popular demand. Sasa hivi concept ya watu iko kwenye focus ya watu iko kwenye bamboo tree. Wewe ndo unaleta habari ya maji. Yaani unatuvuruga. Unaona sasa hapo? Kwa lazima ujue kuzisoma alama za nyakati. Sawa. Na bila nikubaliana na wewe kwa sababu muda wangu umeisha. So, bambu mule mwanzi umefananishwa na jinsi ambavyo binadamu wanafanya kazi kwenye maisha mpaka atokelezo upande wa pili. And guess what? For us, especially kizazi chetu hiki, hatuelewi sana kusubiria vitu. Kwa sababu tuko kwenye fast economy, fast growing, fast food, fast everything. Instant. Unatuma message hapa tending imeshatokea kule upande wa pili. Zamani waulize wahenga waliokuwa pata kwambia kina Josh kama inawezekana ni muhenga. 
Zamani ilikuwa ukiandika barua inachukua wiki ngapi mpaka imfikie? Hata tatu mpaka eh dada kumbe muhenga Mungu akubariki. <laughs> Umewahi kuandika barua? Yes, zamani tulikuwa na watu Sorry? Ehe, pia kuna maeneo ilikuwa unaweza kuchukua hata miezi miwili. Even three months. Just a letter for a person to understand what you are communicating. Kwa hiyo wazee wetu wana uvumilivu mkubwa kuliko sisi kwa sababu sisi hatuelewi ile uwezo wa kusubiria kitu baa kitokee. Everything now is instant. Now we have social media. Zamani taarifa habari ilikuwa ina nguvu. Ni taarifa ya habari kweli kweli. Yaani mzee anawahi kurudi nyumbani, anakaa pale na gazeti lake, anasubiri taarifa ya habari. Na chupake ya chai pale. Mnakumbuka? Wale wako upige makelele wakati taarifa habari inaendelea. Takula kwenzi moja kali sana. So taarifa habari tuoze taarifa ya habari kweli. Lakini sasa hivi taarifa ya habari sio taarifa ya habari. Why? Because people they can get what they are looking for through social media. Na ndio maana sasa hizi kunaona inabidi regulations ziwe kubwa kwa sababu wale jamaa wanapoteza hela. Mtu ama invest 10 billion kwenye kutengeneza kiwanda cha habari, corporation fulani kwa ajili ya habari. And then magazeti ya toki kwa sababu watu wameshapata taarifa kwamba masogange amekufa jana yani wanajua wewe ukileta breaking news kwenye gazeti lako front page nobody is buying the thing So lazima waweze kuongea vizuri sasa mzee hivi si tunakulipa kodi mbona watoto wanacheza na nani habari zetu hebu bwana hebu tengeneza vitu naambia sasa wewe na kablogu kako hebu tulipe Sitaki kuingia huko lakini nataka kusema bwana <laughs> inawezekana wako hapa jamani nataka kujaribu kuweka mambo sawa tu Kwa hiyo hatuelewi uwezo wa kusubiria jambo lakini ngoja niwaambie ni kitu kimoja kanuni za maisha zijabadilika Pamoja na kwamba tuna tunaweza tukanywa vidonge sijui kitambi kikaondoka sijui tukafanya hiki tuka mambo yakaenda hivi sijui tukafanya hiki ukacheza hapa piramidi ukachinda biko sijui maisha yakabadilika lakini kanuni za maisha ziko pale pale Wanasema easy come Kuna mtu anaitwa Robert Greens. Wangapi mnamfahamu Robert Greens? Nyosha tu mkono tuone. Moja, mbili, tatu. Unaomba watu wote ambao kweli mnataka kufanikiwa kwenye ya maisha ya mapambano ukae vizuri, ujulikane unafanya nini mjini, soma vitabu vya Robert Greens. Moja kitabu alichoandika ni 48 Laws of Power. Kama unataka kuwa na nguvu katika jamii. Ziko sheria arubaina nane kaziweka sawa Robert Green hivi ni Green Greens Greens eh Robert ya Robert Mugabe but also hicho ni kitabu chaka mechi kini minturizu kwenye market nataka ni kuende kwenye kitabu kingine kuna kitabu kingine ya meandika kina hitua mastery from the word master mastery Anazungumza jinsi gani ya kuwa competent katika ulimwengu unaobadilika. Na ili uweze kuwa competent amesema ili uweze kuwa expert kwenye jambo unalofanya ni lazima uinvest 10,000 hours in something that you do. Kwa hiyo stani if you want to be the best photographer my friend lazima tupige events upige picha mara 10,000 kwenye tukio eh sasa hayo ni ameongezea value sasa sasa wewe ni mpiga picha wa tukio unachelewa kufika mgeni nasema ameshafika ameshaongea ameondoka wewe ndio unafika pale na kamera yako